All right, guys, this is going to be a quick little tutorial for clarinet players to set up the reed and mouthpiece and ligature um, before playing mouthpiece and barrel exercises. Uh, this is going to work a lot the same way for saxophones as far as the reed and the mouthpiece lineup goes. So um, I will do a quick dip video for that a little bit later, and that'll be following up very soon. So the first step that you're going to do is you're going to take your reed package right here, and you're going to open your package up. And here's one I've already opened the package up and you take your reed out you've got it inside this little plastic sleeve right here you take right here where this little slot is and you pull the reed out of that plastic slot now this is not a storage case you're not going to keep your reeds in here um, your reeds will actually get go into a reed case that has a flat slide in position you'll take in the flat part of your reed will go against the flat part of the case and you'll slide it in to place and that'll keep your reed protected, okay? It'll also allow it to dry out so that it doesn't get funky. All right, so what you should be doing throughout this the next few steps is you're gonna take your reed and you're gonna put it in your mouth and you're gonna get it wet because if it's not wet, it's not gonna vibrate and have the right sound that we're looking for. So you're gonna keep this in your mouth while you're doing the setup. Now I'm gonna set this to the side because I've got to set everything up and show you what to do. So the first thing you're gonna do after putting the reed in your mouth is you're going to take your um, cork grease tube and your mouthpiece here and you're going to take and twist up the cork grease just like if it were chapstick and you're going to put it on the cork and then rub it in then you take that and insert it you've got two parts of your barrel generally your uh, logo is right here the top part is going to be where your mouthpiece goes in okay so we've got that in place all right, and then the next thing, I always go ahead and put my ligature on next. So I use the, we use the Rovner type ligature. You see the Rovner type ligature right here. When you're looking at it, it has a wide angle down here at the bottom and a narrow angle here, and you've got a slant. If you look at your mouthpiece, you know you've got a slant that's kind of like it. It's more narrow up here, a little bit wider down here, and it will match that same way and go over the top of that like that. Now. This is the opening where the reed is actually going to be placed. Notice that the screw is on the right side. You will do all of this facing you as you set this up, okay? So it's gonna be facing you this way. The band is right here, and the screw is on the back part. This is where the mouthpiece patch is going to go. Um, this is the screw side here. And it's on the, if it's facing you, it's gonna be on the right side. Okay, so now we come to that reed. Flat side of the reed matches the flat side of the mouthpiece. So I'm going to slide my ligature up. Using one hand, I'm going to take and slide it up. Get us that loose. The thick part of the reed right here, the bottom end, not the thin part right here, but the bottom end where all the bark is at, is going to go sliding it down right here. We're going to slide this down, and we're going to match the arch of the reed up to the arch of the mouthpiece, mouthpiece up there. I'm gonna bring this in and let you see this a little bit better without the light. Okay, so I'm gonna line that up. And then the ligature right here, do you see this line on your mouthpiece? The ligature goes just below that line on your mouthpiece. You'll also notice that there's a line on your reed that's kind of cut in right here. The ligature stays below both of those lines. So I'm gonna line everything up. You wanna make sure that your reed is not up too high. Do you see from the back part here, the reed is up too high. If I have my reed like that, it's gonna choke off the air and it won't go into the mouthpiece. And so you won't be able to create a sound no matter how hard you blow. So you're gonna to want to take and slide it down. And from your side, as you're preparing everything, you're gonna to want to see just a little sliver of the top part of the mouthpiece right at the top of this without the reed going over the top of this side, okay? So I'm holding it all in place with my thumb, and as I hold it in place with my thumb, I'm gonna tighten the screw right here. This only has one screw on it, so I'm gonna take and tighten that and get it to where it's just snug. You don't wanna over tighten it and have it too tight, um, but just, just snug like that. And so here we are, we've got this all completely set up.
So the screw should be on the right side because this is going to face you. The mouthpiece and the reed is going to be facing on this side, okay? And so that's our setup with this ligature. And I'm going to do the same thing with a metal ligature just in case. You have one of the metal ligatures. Something happens and you lose your good Rovner ligature. Um, this is not a banade. An inverted banade is going to look a little bit different, but this is the, just the basic generic metal screw ligature. So this one, because it's got the flat part right here, is going to match the flat part of the mouthpiece. Okay, so I've already gotten my screws loosened. There's two of these screws, and they're both going to face the same side that your reed is going to be on. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to slide it up, do the same thing here. And the reason why we don't put our, our thin tip in here first is if when you do this and you bump it against the ligature, you're going to damage your super fine thin tip right there. And then you're going to make your reed go bad quicker than you should have. So it'll make your reed last a little bit longer, not get any chips in your reed. We're going to slide it down this way. Going to hold, our, hold the reed in place with our thumb. Take and slide the ligature down. And it may take you a few minutes to get this going at first. You'll get used to how to set this up and it gets much quicker. This ligature takes a little bit longer just because you got two screws to do. So we take, we turn, tighten both of these two screws and we put it in place, okay? And that is what it should look like when it's set up with the metal ligature.